Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create these cute gnomes for Christmas decoration. I'm using 2.75mm crochet hook and the yarn is about 2mm thick. You can choose any colors you like. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to start a magic ring. We are gonna crochet a flower head first. Insert your hook through the ring. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. Repeat to make six single crochet into the magic ring. Then pull the short tail to close the ring. You can choose either to crochet in a continuous manner without joining the separate rows with a slip stitch or make a slip stitch at the end of each row and then chain one to start the next round. In this pattern, both of the methods will give the same results. I will crochet without joining, therefore I use a piece of yarn to mark the beginning of each round. If you have a plastic marker, you can use them. Work a single crochet to the first stage, make another one into that same stage. Repeat making two single crochet into all the six stages around. At the end of round two, you will have 12 stages. Round three, make a single crochet to the first stage of the previous round, then two single crochet into the next stage. Repeat making a single crochet followed by a single crochet increase for six times. At the end of round three, you should have 18 stitches. Continue to increase six stitches in each of the next two rows. So at the end of round four and five, you will have 24 and 30 stitches respectively. From round six to eight, make a single crochet to every stitch around. The number of stitches does not change. At the end of round 8, you still have 30 stitches. Round 9, make 4 single crochet, then a single crochet increase in the next stitch. Repeat making the set of 4 single crochet followed by a single crochet increase 6 times to have 36 stitches. In the next 2 rounds, make a single crochet to every stage around. So at the end of row 11, the number of stages is still 36. Row 12, make 5 single crochet. And then a single crochet increase in the next stage. Repeat making the set of Five single crochet followed by a single crochet increase six times to have 42 stitches. In the next round, make a back loop only single crochet to each of the 42 stitches. Round 14, make 6 single crochet followed by a single crochet increase. Repeat 6 times, so at the end of round 14, we have 48 stitches. In the next 2 rounds, make a single crochet to each of the 48 stitches. Cut the yarn and hide the tail. To make the flower petals, insert a new yarn to a front loop of row 13, make 7 single crochet. Then chain 1 and turn. Repeat the previous route. 7 single crochet. You can carry the tail while crocheting so that later you do not have to hide it. When it's too short, just trim it off. Route 3. 
chain one and turn crochet two single crochet together make three single crochet in the next three stitches and then make a single crochet decrease again so in this route we decrease two stitches to have five stitches at the end of row three row four chain one and turn single crochet to each of the five stitches row five chain one and turn single crochet decrease a single crochet to the next stitches and then make another single crochet decrease as we decrease two stitches at the end of row five we have three stitches press the knob and cut the tail you do not have to hide the tails of the petals because we will carry them while crocheting the border insert a new yarn to the next front loops of row 13 and then repeat making more flower petals you will have six petals in total insert a new yarn to a loop between the two petals crochet five single crochet to the side of the petal each of the single crochet corresponds with a row three single crochet to the top three stitches and then five single crochet to the other side slip stitch to a loop between the petals repeat around after crocheting the petals border all the tails are hidden now cut the yarn and you will have to hide one last tail Insert your hook vertically to a stitch between two petals and make 11 slip stitches to the top of the flower head. Cut the yarn, thread it through a needle. I'm gonna insert the needle through the stitch where the yarn is currently coming out. Then bring it up through the center of the flower head. Pull the yarn through the loop you have just created. Insert the needle through the center again to finish making a fixed slip stitch. Hide the other tail and repeat five more times to finish crocheting the flower's head. With green yarn, start with a magic ring to make the stem. Six single crochet in a magic ring. Then six single crochet in the next six rows. Row 8, chain 6, make 5 single crochet into the back palms. If you do not know how to crochet to the back palms, check out my video tutorial. I will put it in the top right corner. Slip stitch to the next stitch. Repeat around.
Then cut the yarn and hide the tail if you plan to attach the stem to the head using hot glue. If you prefer sewing, you may want to leave a long tail. I prefer using glue because it works well. Why is it faster and cleaner? Using the same color with the flower head, make a magic ring to start making the gnome's body. Seven single crochet into the magic ring. Again, you can either join a row with a slip stitch or not. If not, use a marker to make sure you have a correct number of stitches as noted in the painting. Row two, two single crochet in a stitch. Repeat a round, meaning a single crochet increase in each of a stitch. At the end, we will have 14 stitches in a total. Continue to increase 7 stitches in each of the next two rows. So the number of stitches of row 3 and 4 are 21 and 28 respectively. Row 5, in the next row, we are going to increase only 2 stitches while crocheting to the back loop. So work 13 single crochet followed by a single crochet increase in the next stage for two times. At the end, we will have 30 stages. Just remember that this route is worked to the back loop only. Next route, work 4 single crochet followed by a single crochet increase. Repeat it 6 times around in order to have 36 stitches at the end of the round. For the next 2 rounds, we are going to increase 3 stitches in each of a round. So by the end of round 8, we have 42 stitches. From round 9 to 12, make 42 single crochet in each of the rounds. After that, we start to decrease 3 stitches in each of the next 2 rounds. So by the end of round 14, we have 36 stitches. Make 36 stitches around for round 15 and 16. Make a 6 stitch decrease round, followed by a single crochet to every stitch round for the next 8 rows. So by the end of row 24, you have 12 stitches. Stuff the gnome's body with some fiber fill while crocheting. And then before starting row 25, do the final stuffing. Make 6 single crochet decrease then fasten up to finish the gnome's body. It's recommended to stuff the gnome slightly, not too much is better for to crochet the arms with white yarn, make 6 single crochet into a magic ring. For the next 9 rows, make a single crochet to every stitch. The number of stitches of each row remains 6. Just take note to use white yarn for the first 3 rows, then change to orange or the gnome's body color. If you have not known about the life-changing method to change colors, check out the link of my previous tutorial in the top right corner and try out. It's really helpful. Two more things to crochet, the beard and the nose. To make the beard, work six single crochet into a magic ring. Then gradually increase 3 stitches in each round until reaching row 5 of 18 stitches from row 6 to 10. Just work single crochet in every stitch around. Row 11, make the set of a single crochet followed by a single crochet decrease for 6 times to decrease the number of stitches to 12. Then crochet 12 single crochet in the next round to finish. Now we come to crochet the last item of the gnome's body. Make 6 single crochet to a magic ring using beige color yarn. Increase 6 stitches in the next round. Row 3, work a single crochet to every stitch. And then in the last round, make 6 single crochet degrees. You will need a needle to assemble the body parts. Firstly, sew the beard to row 18 of the body. Then, sew the arms to the sides, 3 stitches away from the beard.
next. So the little nose to the center top of the beard. Now use glue gun to secure the beard and the head in place. If you love my video tutorial, don't just watch it. Hit like and try it out. Christmas is coming to town in a few days. If you plan to make handmade Christmas gifts, visit my store for some ideas. All items are sale off until the end of December. I will put the discounted link in the description below. I hope you like it. Subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials. And it's done. Thank you for watching. Happy crocheting and Merry Christmas!